Hey guys, it's Heather from Diamonds and Dragonflies, and I'm here today with my weekly whipping chat. And I know if you're looking at the screen, you might be going, um, Heather, that's a box, not a canvas. Well, there's a canvas in the box. I am actually going to be kitting up another kit. Yeah, I know. I'm breaking my own rule. I said no events in April. I was just working on whips. And that went to hell, basically. I did complete one of my whips. So um, I did finish Chromatic Duet. There is a post review on my channel, so go check it out. Um, it will be coming out next week. So look for that, guys, okay? Um, and this is really an event, non-event. So Jamie Paints and Diamond Art Sparkles over on Instagram are doing a non-event. And when I say non-event, that means there's no prizes, um, there's no progress photos to post or anything else. It is just come paint with us and it's halfway to Halloween. So the event is halfway to Halloween. I'm not sure if there's a 2024 after that or if it's just halfway to Halloween. So not quite sure about that. I'll have to look that up. So I'm looking at all of these Halloween pictures and I'm like, well, I want to do one too because I like Halloween. So I decided to do one and look what I'm doing. I'm going to do jack-o'-lantern time. He's a, he wants little draglings. So he follows with all doing my dragons and stuff and he's got a little jack-o'-lantern and there's a little, it's just a, it's adorable. It's adorable. And I want to do it because he makes me smile. He's got his little witch hat on, his little horn sticking through. Oh my God, he's so cute. I could scream. Okay, so he is around. He is very small. He's only a 16 by 16, 41 centimeters by 41 centimeters. Um, I think he's got like maybe 40 colors in him, 42 colors, something like that. So I am going to kit this up in the background while we talk. And we chat. So you guys whip. I'm going to kit. And we're going to chat. Okay. So it's a whip kit chat. Yeah. That works. Okay. So before I get into that. I will show you everything that I'm planning on using. So I am planning on using this beautiful Halloween pen from Enablers Outpost. This is a thick turning. Okay. So this is one of their thick pens. It's got little bats in it, and it's cute? I got this in a mystery bag. Um, every now and then they do these mystery grab bags, and I grabbed a mystery bag, grab bag, blah, 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 and this was in there. So, and I'm gonna be using, I need to put in some tips. Uh, so I've got a six placer here to put in and a single placer, and I'm gonna use this washi tape which I'm pretty sure that this washi tape came with an Enablers Outpost pen. Not this one, but I think it did come with one of my packages. So my tips are not going to fit. I already know that because they don't fit in any of them. So I take some of this thinner washi and I wrap it around and I kind of smoosh the bottom part, okay? And I got that wrapped around and then I take it and I put it in my pen and I kind of twist it a little to get it started and then BAM! Yeah, that ain't going nowhere. All right, that's down in there really good. Okay, so once again, I pull off, I don't know, what is that, like an inch and a half, inch and a half, two inches, something like that, of washi and then I'm below this this line here, okay? So I kind of use it as a guideline and I wrap the washi around. I kind of smoosh the bottom kind of into a point here a little bit and then I stick it in the hole and I kind of twist it a little as I'm putting it in and then I push down and yet yeah, that ain't going nowhere. All right, so we've got our tips in our pen. All right, so we're done with that. Um, 
In my multi-placer, I'm going to be using from Randish Crafty Corner. I have not used any of her putty recently. I'm going to use my Salted Caramel Pumpkin. I picked this up last fall, and I don't think I ever used it. I don't think I ever got around to it. So let me pull. Nope. Perfectly pristine. Never used it. Oh, that smells really good. That smells really, really good. Uh, so I have that putty I'm going to use. And then in my single placer, I'm going to use warm cinnamon apple, not your mama's mud from Whimsical Daisy. I have used this before. Oh, oh that smells so good. I love fall scents. Love them, love them, love them. All right, so we've got that. There's my scissors that we're going to need. And then I'm doing this really cute... Oh, where is it? There we go. Um, let me bring you in closer. Isn't this adorable, this washi tape? This is from Waterbug Gardens. I got this off of cl on clearance because they're getting rid of their fall stuff so that they have plenty of room for their spring and summer stuff. So isn't it really cute with the little ghosties and it says Happy Halloween? So, yeah. So that is the washi tape that I'm going to put around my painting. Let's get that started. We can take the plastic off. So they are an Etsy shop, Waterbug Garden, or Gardens. I really love their washi. It sticks way better than a lot of the washi that I have used. So very excited about that. Okay. Let me, let me just get this out. We're just going to talk briefly about how many colors it has in it. Because I'm also looking at doing some additional enhancements. But I don't remember what it came with. So, because I definitely want to make sure that the moon and the eyes of the jack-o'-lantern, like its cutouts, are going to be like all special but I don't know what all it comes with. So let's find out. Oh. Is that everything? Yep, okay. So, got my little sticker for my log book. I decided to do my log book a little different, so I'm holding on to these until after I finish because it was bothering me that I was just putting stuff in and some of them are whips. And so like my finishes were all over the place and I was like, yeah, that's not working for me. So I decided to do it a little differently. So, all right, we want those. We got the pen, the squishy. We've got some washi. Oh, we got a little seashell cover minder. Isn't it cute? So we got a seashell cover minder, some floral washi. So we'll put that all to the side. This I want to take out. Um, my daughter, you know, Emily is diamond painting now. And she loves the pink wax. I gave her wax alternatives, but she's all about the pink wax. So I've been keeping all the pink wax for her. And I saved the Ziploc bags because these are nice ones. And I use them for like kitting up enhancements and stuff. So, see, I told you this was like a little itty-bitty canvas. It's not very big. So, my hand, if you can see, it's it's a little better past few days. The thumb has just been really sore. Oh, my God, this is so tiny. I love it. Okay, let me roll this back. Do, 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 do. This is going to be amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, he is absolutely adorable, people. Oh, you know my art room walls are like all of my draglings um, that I have completed. So, all right, we don't need that. Okay, so let's see. What do we got here? Well, I was right, 42 colors. So, oh, we have two glow-in-the-dark drills. 310 and 742. How much you want to bet? Yep. Okay, the moon's going to be glow-in-the-dark. Awesome! Awesome, awesome, awesome sauce. And then 
310 is going to be going, oh, that's the tree limbs. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Yeah. Oh, and it's in the drag lane. Is it all the, oh, man. That is going to be flipping amazing. So there is no glow in the dark in the pumpkin's eyes, though. That kind of sucks. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I'm going to have to think about that. I wonder if I'm going to have enough. I'll start at the top. That way I'll find out because wouldn't it be cool if I made his, the jack-o'-lantern's eyes and nose that you can see on here glow in the dark? That would be flipping amazing. Okay. Um, I am going to pull this plastic back because this is still not like really laying flat for me. So let's, Ooh. okay, that helps some. Let's do it this way. Let's try and get some of these wrinkles out of it. And I've had this kit for a while, so no, it is not a perforated cover sheet. All right, let me, I'm going to roll this again. Why is it, this is the first time I've had this issue where I have a canvas that just doesn't want to lay flat. And it keeps getting like these bubbles in it. Okay, much better. All right, much, much better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the washi around it first and then I'll worry about the drills. That way we can chat about what has been going on in the world or in the world of diamonds and dragonflies. So I really need to start taking notes about what I leave off with. Um. So let's see, Saturday, well, Friday night, we'll start with Friday night. So Friday night, uh, my husband and I, Friday night is typically our watch TV night. Um, Friday nights and Saturday nights, my husband and I usually either go to a movie or we watch shows or movies together in the living room. Um, so Friday night, we actually wa we finished watching all the episodes on Apple TV of Monarch Legend of the Monster Legend of Monsters with Kurt Kurt Russell, um, and his son Wyatt Russell, which was uh, that was just amazing. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for anyone in case you want to watch it. If you're into like King Kong and Godzilla, you you really need to watch this show if you have Apple TV. And just as an FYI, because I didn't realize this, if you have an iPhone through Verizon wireless, you actually have what's called Apple One, or at least you should be your plan, and you get Apple TV for free. Um, so we get Apple TV for free. And that's what allowed us to go and watch it. Um, it is kind of filling in the blanks. It takes place, the Godzilla Kong movies go Godzilla, Kong Skull Island. Then you would insert the TV show Monarch, Legend of Monsters. Then it's Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And then Godzilla versus Kong. And then the new movie that's out which is Kong times Skull, um, uh, Godzilla times Kong, the new empire. Okay. So we had tickets for Saturday at 2.45 to go see Kong versus, or Kong times, oh my God, Godzilla times Kong, the new empire. Um, with my son, because William and I are into 
like the Jurassic Park, the monster movies. Uh, we like shark movies, um, natural disaster movies. We're into all of that kind of thing. And so that is like what William and I share. Um, whereas like with Emily, I pretty much share everything else her and I like. But this is kind of like William and I's thing. Well, my husband likes it too, to a point. Um, so he wanted to go. Well, he has not seen any of the movies. Now, him and I have been watching the TV show. Um, and, all right, we got that around. I'm going to set that off to the side. For those of you who might not know and go, why did she just put washi tape around it? So there is an edge where the glue goes beyond the glue field. Probably about that much, okay? And your hand sticks fast to it. You get dog hair, you get dirt, you get all kinds of stuff. So I put the washi tape on the outside and it covers it. That way I don't have to worry about it getting nasty or my hand sticking fast to it. The other thing that it does for me is that it gives me like a straight edge for when I'm doing, especially when I'm doing squares. This is a round, so it's not as important. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to cover this remove the plastic cover and do release papers over the whole thing, but we'll do that later. I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, all right, so we're gonna put that to the side. I don't need washi tape, that's to the side. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do here is figure out what I wanna kit up into. And I'm thinking I'm going to do trays, but let me divide these out and see what size trays, because I am pretty much out of small trays at the moment. They're all being utilized. Um, so anyway, so we watched that, and then I said to him, I'm like, you know, I really think that you need to watch at least Godzilla versus Kong, which is the, la the most recent in the series. Because I was like, I don't think you're you're going to be able to really know what's going on and follow the movie tomorrow. So we watched that. He loved it. He loved it. He's like, wow, I wish I just would have watched all of them with you. Because over the last three weekends, William and I have been watching, re-watching all the movies. Um, we started watching, we watched Godzilla and Kong Skull Island the week before Easter, he came over Friday night after work, and we watched that. Then Good Friday, he came over after work, and both of his sisters were here. So Emily watched with us, and we watched Godzilla, King of the Monsters, and then Godzilla vs. Kong. So we were all caught up and had watched them fresh. Now, William has not watched the TV show Monarch. Legend of the Monsters. So I'm not quite sure whether or not he's going to try and watch that at his dad's or whether he's going to end up coming over and us watching that and me re-watching it, which is fine. That is totally okay with me um, because I like to watch things more than once. Um, it takes me a couple of watches to fully like grasp everything. Um, that's why like Currently, I'm binge watching Grey's Anatomy. I'm on season nine. Um, and everyone, my daughter laughs at me and she's like, um, so how many times have you watched it from start to finish now? And I'm like, this is seven. I do it once a year. And she's like, okay, you don't think that's a little obsessive? And I'm like, no, because it's great background noise. I love the show. Um, and it has gotten to the point now that I don't ever go and say, oh man, I don't remember that because yeah, I remember it all. But it's taken having to watch them that many times. So, you know, it's fine. All right. So just so you know what I'm doing. So I separated all the things and now I'm, and of course this figure, um, I'm dividing them up by like what size, um, tray I need to put them in or container if I was doing them into trays 
and that's what I was afraid of. Those all would go into small trays. I actually have some here that I probably would have put into small trays, but yeah. All right, so I would have to do at least large, I need to do all larges, and I do not have enough. 16 and 16 is 32. 32, 38. Well, you know what? I actually might. All right. Hold that thought. All right. So I'm going to grab, I have my two new uh, three divider trays. I have the book trays and wow, I do have these that I could just dump out. Hmm. What do I want to do here? See, I'm thinking that my See, I have my wonder trays to kit down, but I have, you know what? No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that right now. No. Okay. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. And then hold on. I got to grab the large trays and bring those over here. Isn't it nice that I have everything like right next to each other? That is why I love my art room. So, okay. Um, let me scoot those over out of the way. And let's focus on these first. Okay. So, um, that is kind of, you know, so I like to rewatch things. Sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. So, I couldn't remember what I was thinking about. Um... You know, so that's just what I like to do. I don't, I mean, how many of you have watched the same show like numerous times? Okay, are, are you going to side with me here? Um, I just, it's comfort for me. I can't watch new stuff um, while I'm diamond painting because I have to look at the screen then because I don't know what's happening. Um you know, but I don't have to do that with things that I've watched before. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a freak. Am I a freak, guys? Or, you know, do you guys do the same thing? Um, so, anyway, that's what we did Friday night. Um, Saturday, we went and saw the new movie with William. Um, no spoilers other than to say it was fantastic. So I loved it very, very much. Um, we had a really nice time. Um, it was kind of cool. Uh, my husband and I go to a lot of movies, or at least we used to. We really haven't been to too many this year so far with my hand. And there just really hasn't been anything like phenomenal I've wanted to go see. But anyway... Um, we are Regal Unlimited members, so we have a monthly subscription that lets us go and see all the movies, any movie we want, for free. Um, we get discounts off of concessions, and we earn extra points to be able to redeem. So, I had enough points that I could get William's um, ticket for free. So, it didn't cost anything for his movie ticket. So, we all got in for a buck fifty because you got to pay the, the ticketing processing fee of 75 cents each. So, or no, 50 cents each. So, it was a buck fifty um, for me to get the tickets for the three of us, which, you know, I don't know about you, but I can live with that. And this year, they actually started a new feature where you can get a refillable cup and 
popcorn bucket. It was at a reduced rate of $32 to buy it initially. And then I just bring it back every time we come and it's 10 bucks to refill it. And the actually really cool part is that if we, um, we can go see more than one movie in a day uh, with our pass for free. That let's say we come and we see one movie as a matinee. Okay, and we pay the ten dollars uh, to refill the cup and the popcorn. But then we decide to see a different movie that day, and we get our refills for free. Then the second refill is free. We don't have to pay for another refill for that. So that's kind of cool. Um, I'm also very happy. It's kind of funny. It's like they heard me bitching and complaining because I kept complaining about the fact that I didn't like any of the candy that they sold. It was like everything had nuts in it or everything was like sour, sour Skittles, sour, sour patch kids, you know, and I, I don't do sour. I don't do nuts. I'm allergic to nuts. Um, well, now, all of a sudden, they have regular Skittles. They've got Twizzlers, not Red Vines, because I do not like Red Vines, but I love Twizzlers. Um, they've just got a ton of candy now that I love, which I guess, depending on how you want to look at it, is a good thing or a bad thing, because, yeah, there's candy now um, that I like. So... But it, it's just nice to be able to have something to choose from when for so long I didn't. Um, and I felt very, uh, I guess, left out is the best way to put it, I suppose. So you might be asking, well, how do you label these when um, you're doing the, the three divider tray? I put them on the outside, on the edge. So that one's going to be this one. I have put them on the lid too, but the last time I did that, they actually peeled off and ended up like on um, the bottom of my other tray. <laughs> so, and it just dawned on me, you guys cannot see anything I'm doing. Here we go. All right, that's better. Sorry guys, I did not mean for you not to be able to see what I'm doing. So like I was saying, I put it back here. Oh, did you see that? That was static. Did you see them just start jumping? That was funny. Cause it actually hasn't been too bad until that just happened, which is hilarious. So, um, so we watched that, uh, we came home, on the drive home, my husband and I got into an argument, shocker, um, if you watched my mental health check-in video, you might know what that all entailed and whatnot, and it's, you know, it's fine, I'm not going to go into it again. Uh, this is going to be more joyful, 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 joyful. Um, so I diamond painted for the rest of the night. Um, Saturday or Sunday, I diamond painted. Um, Sunday, I woke up and my hand, I was in excruciating pain. Um, it was way over 10 plus pain again which I hadn't had in a while, um, comparatively speaking. It had been a while since I had had a 10 plus pain, like at least a week or so. Um, so that was pretty intense. Um, my husband panicked, didn't know what to do, um, which I don't, I guess you could say I don't know what, he's thinking he needs to do or or whatever I mean it's just comfort me that's that's what I need I need you to comfort me um 
but you know, I guess maybe that's easier for me to say since I'm a woman and I, I am a mother and maybe that's just something that comes naturally to me, instinctual. Um, I don't know, but whatever. Um, I survived. I made it through. Um, do you guys ever have that experience? I know I'm like all over the place, but I'm sitting here and I said I made it through and it's like I wanted to sing the Madonna song. I made it through the wilderness, you know, from like a virgin, like it sang in my head. I know I'm a freak. Um, <laughs> so, um, Monday I filmed a bunch of videos. I filmed my post review for Little Draglings Adventure, which already went up and you guys got to see. I also filmed for next week, I filmed the post review for Chromatic Duet. Um, I'm trying to make more of a weekly schedule for my videos. Um, So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to last. How long I'm going to be able to, to hold hold it this way. Because um, obviously my back flaring up from time to time makes it really difficult um, to stick to any kind of set schedule. Um, that's Atlas. Uh, not quite sure why he's barking unless the mail was delivered with some packages. Um, so hopefully he will stop. If not, I will have to pause the video and go see what his malfunction is. Atlas! Eh -eh. Um... Wow, did he actually listen? That would be like a first. Um, you know, I don't know that I'm going to switch out any of these colors. Mainly because there's not really a whole lot of any of them. So I don't really see where it would make much difference. And I think between the two ABs and the two glow in the dark that that's actually gonna be like good enough. And you know what I'm sitting here thinking? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. No, I still wouldn't have. I was thinking if I could free up two of my three divider trays. You know what, I'm just gonna put those to the side for right now. And I'll focus on the large trays, okay? We'll do that. So let me pull these three out, Atlas. Uh-uh, no. So, so I filmed some, so I'm trying to think of like Mondays being um, post reviews. Now, obviously I'm not always potentially gonna have a post review to do on a Monday. Um, I'm good, but I'm not always that good. Uh, so that could be like a hit or miss kind of thing. So, but I do know I have one for this week and one for, or I had one for this week and I have one for next week. All done. It's even uploaded people uploaded all ready. I know I am amazing. Uh, <laughs> at least when it comes to this right now. Um, so then I filmed two small shop hauls on Monday. I filmed my Mega Bella spring cleaning uh, small shop haul, which I shared with you guys. That went up um, yesterday, and you guys got to see that. I also filmed another small shop haul of a bunch of different um, character or different products, different small shops, uh, 
is it, was it one of them that was new to me? Or no, two, two that were new to me. Um, so thank you to my Patreons. Um, I, I have not received any donations from Buy Me A Coffee for over a month now. Um, and I use, um, the Buy Me A Coffee and the Patreon membership fees to cover me buying from small shops because I try out new small shops. They're not always going to be, they're not things that I, I, I most likely would not have bought them otherwise. Now, the Bella stuff, that came out of my own pocket because I am a Bella freak, as we all know. And, you know, so that stuff was 100% totally for Heather, okay? Um, the small shop haul that will go up next week, which has three different putty companies. There's a pen, new pen turner. And what was the other thing? I had three putty company. Oh, and then there's um, my latest DP with sparklers haul, which that is, that's kind of a half and half. I mean, yes, I, I buy the enhancements for myself, but they're also kind of for my channel to show you guys how to do enhancements and stuff like that. So they're like a 50-50 thing. Um, but the pen and the putty was, there was two new putty, yeah, two new putty companies and a new pen turner. And then there was, there is one, um, putty company that I have bought from and that has become a favorite, um, which is really cool considering that I got to experience them because of the donations to my channel. So Tuesdays are going to, I'm going to try and make Tuesdays like small shop hauls. Um, there are going to be times when there's not going to be one because uh, I can't buy stuff all the time. I happen to have a few things that are coming in um, that I've been waiting for. So I will be able to you know, have some stuff for the next few, the next few weeks, maybe, hopefully, if stuff comes in. Um, I have some prizes that I won. Uh, there is one of, one of the uh, small shops was a new to me shop that's not really diamond painting related, but I won a gift card to them through a diamond painting event. Um, so, and they do sell diamond painting, so it is diamond painting adjacent, I guess, but the small shop does sell diamond painting stuff. Yeah, Atlas has now moved to outside, and he's outside barking. So if he doesn't stop, I am going to have to go down and yell at him and get him in. I try to be respectful of my neighbors, especially my next door neighbor. She is not a dog friendly person and she is a nurse and sometimes works nights. So I tried to be respectful of that and he's not stopping. So guys, I'm gonna have to pause for a moment and I will be right back. Okay, and of course, when you know it, the minute I paused it to go down and get it, he stopped and came running back inside. Oh my God, he's such a jackass. So now he's laying on the new dog bed that I got um, practically for free um, <laughs> laying beside me. So he's just, I don't know, he's just too funny. Okay, so um, then I want to make, Wednesdays is going to be day off. Now, today is Wednesday, and I'm filming my whip and chat, and that's going to, I'm going to try and make that how things go. I'm going to try and do 
whip-in chats on Wednesdays uh, to film them, and then I'm going to have them go up on Friday. Thursdays are going to be unboxings, and then, which I have, I have an unboxing for you that this is going to go up on Friday so that you saw yesterday, um, and then I have an unboxing that I need to film for next week. Um, I am going to be doing some first look slash sneak peek videos for four different kits from Art and Soul. Um, I am going to be doing them one a week for the next four weeks. So that will be taking up that spot, which is awesome. I am so happy about collaborating with them um, and being able to, oh, I guess I didn't break these apart. Um, being able to uh, do and show you guys new kits from them. I really love Art and Soul. They are probably my third favorite shop to purchase from. Um, so I'm super, super psyched about that. They have an event that's going to be held in May that I am going to be participating in with the kit that I'm going to show you um, and unbox next week. So you're going to see a lot of that kit. Um, so I'm really, really psyched about that. Um, I will be sharing more information about the event next week with the unboxing. So I'm not going to talk about that right now. So there are a couple of events that low key events that I'm hoping to participate in uh, next month. One of them is an event by Art and Soul. Uh, Another one I think is going to, if she's still doing it, there should be a space one for that Bella is doing. Um, I believe, I'm pretty sure it's in May. Um, I It would be my first year participating in it. I didn't find Bella until June of last year. So I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, and then Sundays is going to continue to be my, uh, mental health check-in, uh, this upcoming Sunday, if everything goes well, there is going to be a live stream. Uh, this first one I am going to make available to everybody. Uh, the starting with the next one. You have to be a Patreon member. Any tier. Um, no, I'm sorry. I take that back. You have to be in one of the two top tiers. Either the $10 a month or the $20 a month um, tier in order to participate in and get access to the live streams. Uh, the $5 tier does not qualify for the live stream. Um, I'm sorry. I am, though, going to make it that all tiers are going to be able to get the twice a month um, Zoom paint time with me, uh, where we're going to be able to, to sit and... Okay, is that... I messed up. Sorry. That's the wrong sticker. Let's put that one there. Um, so you get one of the perks of being a Patreon member is that you get to uh, participate in a twice a month where we're going to sit and diamond paint via Zoom and chat in real time for an hour and diamond paint. So I'm really excited about that um, so that I get to know everybody that is part of my Patreon a little better. So I'm hoping that some of you will decide to join. Uh, that will be, like I said, for everybody. 
I am looking at doing it. I I'm going to put it up in the Patreon for you guys to vote for what time and when you would like to have it. It's either going to be on Wednesdays during the day or Saturday. Uh, I'm trying to decide whether I want to do Saturday mornings or Saturday evenings. I'm kind of leaning towards Saturday mornings, but I, I'm i just concerned. Well, you know what? You guys can always do that while we're chatting. Um, because there's the Enablers Outpost drop on Saturday mornings at 11. And then you've got the Diamond Art Club drops at noon for Diamond and above. So I think, yeah, I think what we'll do is, I'm, I think we're just going to do Saturday mornings. I'm just going to say Saturday mornings. And that's just what we're going to do. Um, I don't... The only concern that I have is if you guys are West Coast, because like if I say, okay, we're going to do it at 10 o'clock, that's 7 a.m. for you guys. And I don't know that you're going to want to get up and do it then. Um, but with it, the weather getting warmer, I don't really want to set up to have it done later in the day because I'm afraid of people not being able to participate because it's later in the day. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I would love to be able to have more of you join that. So that would be awesome. So try and keep that in mind. Um, we are becoming much more active with chatting and um, I've been posting my work in progress updates on the Patreon, asking you guys for questions, having you help vote for stuff. Um, I am gonna be putting up another uh, poll for you guys to help me decide which paint gem set to do for May. Um, this month I am doing the, uh, I'm finishing mystery kit number one. It, it was one of my whips, so I wanna get that done. So I can free up those Harbor Freight containers. Um, so, and instead of putting all of my paint gem kits that I have up, I think I'm going to limit it to like three and have you guys vote um, among the three that I put up. So I'm super psyched about that. So you guys need to keep an eye out for that. Um, what else? I have no doctor's appointments this week. How did that happen? Um, I don't have any doctor's appointments next week. Kirk does. Kirk goes to the dentist next week. But I don't have another doctor appointment until the 22nd of April. So I'm like, holy cow, how did that happen? Because... It seems like I've been having doctor's appointments every day. Now, I do need to... I need to start thinking about trying to find another back doctor since my current one has decided that he does not wish to do anything for my spine. And um, I am not going to accept that. That is unacceptable. Uh, I do not think that I need to live with the pain that I have for the rest of my life. There has to be something that can be done. So we're going to figure that out. Um, I do follow up with the hand doctor in May. Uh, I think it's May 6th or something like that. Um, so there is going to be, this is what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So, I need your help. There is finally going to be a diamond painting retreat that is being held about 45 minutes from my house. Um, it is called the Amish Country Diamond Painting Event. Um, there is very little seats available. 
so I need to jump on this fast. It is May 2nd through May 5th, so it is coming up very fast. It is $250, and that covers everything. That covers my lodging, that covers all of my food, and that covers me having a table to be able to diamond paint for the four days. Um, I currently do not have $250 to spend to pay to go to this. Um, we are still having to pay $100 a month uh, for the next eight months on Athena's medical bills. They were able, her vet bills, they were willing to work it out with us, but it is going to be $100 a month um, and I am up for review for my social security or my social security my long-term disability so at this point in time one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven okay that's amazing I have exactly seven large trays left all right, so that's just what we're gonna do. Um, so as of right now, when I receive my paycheck, my long-term disability payment later this month, currently, that's it. I will not have any more income um, until they finish and conclude the review. Uh, my Social Security disability hearing is not until the 29th of May. Um, so I am staring down the barrel of losing uh, my income. And therefore, I cannot afford to put any money out of my own pocket for something like that at this current moment in time. Um, I really need to go on this retreat, guys. <laughs> My mental health has been greatly suffering, as you all know. Um, and being that it is so close to home, I did inquire as to whether or not I could just drive back and forth every day and not spend the night. It doesn't change the price. The price is the price. So there is no altering of that. So that was a bit of a bummer, but I get it. I understand. So I'm asking if anyone would be willing to be able to make a donation uh, toward me being able to attend this retreat. That would be amazing. Um, you can go in and buy me a coffee. You can send me money through PayPal and make a donation if you would like to. Um, and I understand if you can't. If you can't, you don't want to. If you think it's ridiculous that I asked, I am sorry. I do apologize. I am not trying to offend anyone. I know that everything and everyone, it's tough all over. Uh, if I am able to attend, I will be doing some recording while I'm there and putting that up, uh, and sharing that with you guys so that you can then also have firsthand knowledge and experience as to what all happens at retreats and, you know, all the goings on. Uh, which would be fantastic, and I would love, because I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, I do know that it's very exciting, the fact that I will apparently have access to, 24-7 access to the diamond painting area, so I can stay up all night if I want to and diamond paint. Not that I don't do that at my house, but, you know, I have to worry about making too much noise, making the dogs bark, you know, all the things. Um... So it would be super fantastic and I would love to be able to go and do this. Um, 
So just something to think about. Uh, if anyone is willing to help a girl out, that would be fantastic. Uh, I am going to be posting uh, some kits on the D-Stash groups for sale. Uh, I am going to put them up on my Instagram first. So if you follow my Instagram, you guys can get first hand dibs. Um, I am selling these kits in the hopes of being able to raise enough money to go um, on this trip. So I will be doing that. Um, and then they will also be posted on Facebook. Um, I'm going to have them up on Instagram, I think, for like, I'm planning on doing it tomorrow or later today. And then probably on Saturday, I will put them up on Facebook, on the D-Stash groups. Look at that, guys. I finished. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that would be amazing if you guys could help a girl out. I would love to be able to go and do that and report back all of the fun, good things that I find out. Um, anything else that happened or that is going on? Oh, I am cooking dinner tonight. So, obviously, this is Friday that you're hearing this, so it was Wednesday. Uh, my husband, as you know, struggles with alcohol addiction. And one of the things that we have a problem with is my husband only drinks on the weekends. He drinks Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays during football season. So, currently, he is not drinking on Sundays. But there are certain activities that he does that he automatically associates with and finds a need to have alcohol. Well, we're trying to break that cycle. And one of the things is we sit down, we watch TV, he drinks. Well, we're gonna try, since he doesn't drink during the week when he has to go to work, and he has convinced himself of that, and that is like a thing within his limitations, um, we're gonna try making Wednesday night when we sit down and we watch two of our shows that we always watch on Fridays. So we're going to start small. Um, Wednesdays is also the day that he works. He goes into the office, but he's at the far away office. And Wednesdays are always really hard for him um, because my husband is an introvert. And whereas when he's in the one office on Tuesdays and Thursdays, he's by himself. There's no one else there. On Wednesday, he's in a very crowded, busy, massively stuffed office with lots and lots and lots of people and it is very taxing on him so Wednesdays I am going to attempt to be able to cook something for dinner that it's ready for when he gets home and not only are we going to be able to do that but then we are going to sit and watch these two shows that we watch and he won't be able to drink to hopefully start rewiring his brain. Um, so keep your fingers crossed that it went well. I will let you know next week how it turned out. I will let you know if I survived making dinner. Um, I kind of did the math this morning to figure out how long I was going to have to stand. I'm making meatball subs. So basically, I need to just be able to heat up the marinara sauce in the pot, throw in the uh, meatballs, and then set a time, stir them, set a timer, and cook them for 25 minutes. Um, so I should be able to do that. Fingers crossed that I'm able to do that. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Uh... So, fingers crossed that I am successful with that. I will let you guys know next week. So, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. So, if, 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 if you want to participate and you love Halloween, please go and check out Jamie Paints, J-A-Y underscore 
or J A Y M E underscore paints on Instagram. Um, I will put her a link to her channel or her Instagram down in the description box along with Diamond Art Sparkles. Uh, it's just hashtag halfway Halloween or halfway to Halloween. I don't know. I'll have the hashtag down below as well. Um, if you want to just paint along, like I said, there's no prizes. There's no progress posts. Just, you know, put the hashtag in and share your stuff. I would love to see it. Um, so you guys can go and check that out. Um, I will have my Instagram down below in case you do not follow me already on Instagram. So you can check out and see. I post on there. I try to post every day. There are some times that I don't. Um, especially if it's a bad hand day because it's really difficult for me to hold the phone and text on days because of how much you use your thumb with stuff. So that can be very tricky for me a lot of times. So follow along with that. You will also get to see the present that I am working on for my mother-in-law for Mother's Day. So I am doing a Chuck Pinson landscape. So you can check that out if you are on that. Um, so I'm kind of psyched. I've never done a Chuck Pinson and it is only the second landscape I've ever done. So, and it's been like two, three years, 2021 was the last time I did a landscape. Um, so I'm really enjoying it thus far. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, so check those out. Keep an eye out for all my new videos. I'm thinking I might have a special project, um, an off canvas thing that I'm gonna do and share with you guys on Saturday, but we'll see. We'll see how the rest of my week goes whether or not I get that filmed. Um, what else? I think that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, please go and hit that thumbs up. Uh, it really does help. It gets my videos recommended. Um, I'm really trying hard to grow my channel. So any support you guys can offer, whether it be through donations, whether it's through sharing my videos, I, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, if you are new here and not already a subscriber, please go and hit that subscribe button. It is totally free to subscribe to my channel. You can then hit the bell to be notified of when I put up new videos because I'm hoping to have quite a bit of content going forward coming to you guys. Um, so I would love to have you become a part of my little online community here on YouTube land. Uh, there will be links in the description box to buy me a coffee if you would like to help donate to my channel so that I can keep trying out some new new to me shops. I do have um, a new tray company that I ordered from that that package is shipped, so that should be coming up soon. I've never ordered from them before. Uh, that was another purchase I was able to make. Um, I am looking at we're getting close guys i'm almost to 400 so we get to that 500 mark gonna be a huge giveaway okay uh keep an eye out for the d stash stuff that i'm going to d stash and there will be links below to my patreon if you would like to join like i said there's a 5 10 and 15 10 and 15 or i'm sorry 5 10 and 20 the 10 and 20 they get access to the live streams the $5 gets access to the Zoom chats along with the $10 and $20 levels. Uh, the $20 levels, you get a quarterly gift from me. So, And it is random. It's when you've been with me for three months. So um, I have one person at the moment that uh, it's been two months now. So after the next month, she will receive a gift from me. Uh, if you guys have any questions or you need help with anything, my email is down below. You can email me. 
Uh, if you have any small shops that you would like that you've been looking at, but you've been apprehensive from buying from, please, please, please feel free to go and email me and send me that company's name or and or a link would be great to their site. So that would be fantastic. Okay. All right, guys, take care, be safe. And remember, don't ever let anyone dull your sparkle. Shine bright, sparkle. Bye.